YouTube and the, the uh, video that Larry Cohn made about me calling me somebody with no skill. Uh, and so then I just started putting all these comments on there. And hi, Jealous. Yeah, you know what happens when you go on YouTube and then something pops up. Not that I've watched the video. If you think that I think that the video is consists of tearing apart my process, no, I, I don't think that's what it is. So I just put all these comments, like 49 comments. <laughs> Hi, Alice. My problem with these people is they're hurting people and they're hurting dogs. They're hurting people too, though. And if you said, what well, they're going out of their way to say don't explore that option. That's like big oil going out of their way to say don't explore solar energy. It's, you can do no harm, you know. And if you said, well, then what would you measure an electronic collar trainer on? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, you've got to measure the level of animation. If there's no animation at all, and the e-collar's an amplifier, then their methodology is wrong. You know, that's what it is. But they, they don't even have a methodology. If you said, oh, here's the flow chart, lady, shut up. There's no flow chart. There's no flow chart in two-week training. I understand that now. This all just hit me. And if you said, what's a flow chart? It's like, oh my God, they've gotten to you. You know, and these chat boards, apparently this girl Sarah's on there kicking these dogs and everybody's saying, oh my God, how great, how great. You know, it was, you know, if that girl's passing as a dog trainer, we're in trouble because she's awful. And the fact that I spotted her as being disingenuous before I ever saw her with the dog kind of scares me. So that's my problem with these people. They know that the pager is there. They know that the pager doesn't hurt and that they know that you can get spectacular results. They just don't want you to do that. They don't. And if you said prove it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Don't make me prove it anymore. I've got so much content. I know that's not anybody's problem, but still. It's for people to say remote communication via phone pager with dogs is ludicrous, should not be explored, and there is no proof on the planet that it has it's going to work. So stick with your prongs, stick with your constants, stick with your ouchy ouchy training methods. And then wonder why at the end of your career you're gonna look back. Some young gun's gonna pick this thing up. And it's going to be out training you people. You ought to be scared. I'll be dead by then. But you people ought to be scared. And if you're a young gun out there and you want to pick this thing, get in touch with me. You know, I, I, and I'm going to tell you why I don't do free internships anymore, Alice. Every intern I have repaid me in spades. They repaid me in spades. Every single one of them. Every, so no more. I'm not doing it. If you want to say who ruined that, those people. Those people. You know, if you think that they're on my list of people who went out of their way for me, I'm not. I, and I have a funny feeling I might be on theirs. So, I can't do that anymore. I have to charge. I have to charge. Anyway, guys, I'm on my way out. It's a field trip. And I'm going to get back to Jess real quick. And Chris, if you're there, I need to put you in touch with Jess, who's the owner of this dog. And, you know, you guys kind of figured it's, you know, he's not mine to anything, but, you know, obviously I have a lot of weight for that or so. Anyway, but I'm just going to go run up there a couple of drills out here, and I'll be right back. But that's my problem with this guy. You're going out of your way. One, I can see there's no methodology. That's a problem. If you see any dog trainer, I see there's no methodology. That's a problem. Because there's no school of thought, or the school of thought is just correct that behavior. You just, and I'm sure with children, there's that too. You just correct the problems. You correct them, they don't drift back. <laughs> They're not baseline issues, they don't drift back. And there's no need for any advanced work because, you know, you got a lot going on. All right, you guys, I'm going to go out to put this in practical terms, but I truly believe that. And if you said, oh, they're all kind of people got balls big and nobody's going after this guy. This guy's some federal agent. I said, don't think it's a little conduct unbecoming, Larry. First off, you're an expert by measure of who. 
find me a nationally ranked competition trainer to say your methodology is valid. Find me one. And if you say find me one, Mark Patton, that's who. Don't even, you know, that's who. That's the reason I go on. All you horrible people, you couldn't hold a candle to Mark Patton if you lived for 200 more years. So there you go. Find me a serious pro. Not your little chat board people. A serious competition pro that's got ribbons and trophies and knows methodologies and says this is valid. The Velcro dog thing, I never even heard of that. A Velcro dog, I'll tell you what that is. You've done it wrong. You've hit it with constant and now it's afraid to leave your side. And if you said, when did they get over that? Never. Never. They don't care. Just sucking the life out of them. You're taking the juice and sucking the life out of them. Chelsea will tell you. Anyway, guys, I will be right back. Hi, Mario. Hi, George. Yes, George. George never even heard of the pager before he met me. You know, there's people that would rob you of this training by not only not saying it exists, by going out of their way to tell you it's not good. It's not valid. And anybody can see there's nothing to this training. It doesn't work. I have no skill. Dismiss this woman immediately. Okay. But it's, you know, my passion is training dogs. If this guy wants to claim he's a firearms expert, all this, his passion isn't training dogs. If you said, what are you basing that on his lifestyle? People whose passion is training dogs are like me and Alice. They have a house full of crates. They're doing pro bono rescue work. They're, you know, they're doing all these things just to get dogs under your belt. You know, so anyways, I will be right back. I gotta stop and get some gas, but I'll be right back. I'm just gonna run through four dogs. And that's very hard for me to do. I'm like, I just said the only way I can go out is if I only take four of them. So I will be right back with four episodes.